I promised Mr. Adam Peaty an athletic performance contextualization video for his 100 meter breaststroke final at the 2024 World Aquatics Championships in Doha, Qatar, so long as he started the race, and he did, and he did much more than that. He won the bronze medal. Which, a brazen beauty wins the bronze medal, which I am, so uh, Adam Peaty, if you're on, if you don't know, or and or are unfamiliar and or forgot or something else, uh, rep is representing Great Britain in this competition, and I am ancient Britain, both England and Scotland and Ireland kind of regions, um, by ancestry, and so I'm of the Gordon clan in our tincture, is what it's called, is bronze. So I really adore the metal, M-E-T-A-L, bronze, which is different than a podium metal, M-E-D-A-L, but all the same. Oh, swoon for the brazen beauty, the bronzed beauty, Adam Peaty, in this race. So he, uh, in the 100 meter breaststroke race, the final on Monday, 12 February, 2024, at the 2024 World Aquatics Championships in Doha, Qatar, Mr. Peaty, Mr. Adam Peaty, swam a time of 59.10 seconds to achieve third place provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of where he stands in terms of individual and total world titles and him being the second Adam I did an in individualized athletic performance contextualization on slash for especially with this formatting of the name and the title and the video description in the, in the video itself. So I'm filming this on Monday, 12 February 2024 in the Seattle area of Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth the Original. I am Tannis Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. So he had a strong stroke. He, um, I'm happy with his performance. I like the 59s in the 100 breast, in the 100 meter breaststroke long course. This is just like a... I don't know. I like the feel of the 59 range. Not that I dislike the feel of like 58s and faster, just like, I don't know. And I like the numbers. So per my number color scheme, the five is a red, the nine is a black, the one is a white, and the zero is a blue. So for his time, the digits, those are the colors of the digits of the time he achieved. Um, strong stroke, good finish. I was happy with the performance. Um, in terms of his, where he stands in terms of individual and total world titles, so there was a YouTube put out earlier today on the YouTube channel, The Swimsuit Guy, I'll mention in the video description, um, that included a brief discussion of swimmers, um, in competition for the world title in this 100 meter breaststroke at the 2024 World Aquatics Championships in Doha, Qatar race. And because World Aquatics is actually hosting another world championships <laughs> in a different location later in the year, so specifying location here. Um, and so I'll link to that video. And they actually named everybody who uh, won a medal, if I'm recalling correctly. It was the swimsuit guy, Brett Hawk in a German, a flat, the flag of Germany in the background across the pool. You know, in the scene, <laughs> scene area. Um, so yeah, but I, th I think they actually did name everybody who won a medal. So they did good on that. Good for them. Um, but they, in the title of the video, they mentioned like, is Adam Peaty going to win his ninth world title? And so I was like, I should go back and look that up. Right? I shouldn't look that up. And so uh, it would have been, had he won the gold medal, his ninth world title total including individual and relay events. But two of those world titles are in relay events, so it would have been his seventh individual title. So it, it, breaking down that number they put out there earlier today, ahead of me, <laughs> um, just providing a little context there in case you saw that video or didn't and want that here, but providing the link to if you want to watch that video. They don't, they briefly discussed the 100 meter breaststroke, but they also covered some of the other results and events of the day, uh, results of the day before and events of today kind of thing. Um, and then on location in, at, at, in Doha, Qatar. I am not, so if you want that, it's a, it's a good video to see that. They provide a view of the pool. 
And then, so, oh, and then I, I'm taking that, so that's the first contextualization there. I'm doing comparison, so one step further. So, uh, at the Super Bowl 58, which was yesterday, <laughs> uh, Sunday 11, February 2024, at the United States of America National Football League, American football, big game, if you're unfamiliar with the, uh, the Super Bowl, and Post Malone, uh, sing America the Beautiful, beautiful, and I will link, I'll do a mention to the NFL channel and the video on that channel for Post Malone singing, um, or when he sang, more specifically, because it already happened, America the Beautiful, um, and I'll link to that video, and the commentator for introducing Post Malone when he sang, or like right before he sang America the Beautiful, said he was a, huh? Nine times diamond certified musical artist. I, they they might have used something like superstar or something. I, I, I forget. So musical artist. Um, but I was like, I I was watching that, and then I saw this video by the swimsuit the, you know, on the YouTube channel, the swimsuit guy about ninth title, and I was like, Post Malone is nine times. Adam Peaty could be nine times. Not this. Not that this way. So that didn't happen. But I was like, ah, it's a great thing to think about. Um, I think, anyway, and I was like, that's perfect for a contextualization, because what does nine world titles get a person? Nine times Diamond Certified got Post Malone, in part, America the Beautiful at Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas, Nevada, with a San Francisco 49ers in the background, which is the only team I'm going to bring up because that was my team at Super Bowl. Um, I think. Okay. Not that there wasn't a banner for like, it was like electronic banner, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, but I, yeah, okay. Point being, um, yeah, I was just, I saw that and I was like, what? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big deal, getting to do one of the songs at, at Super Bowl in the United States of America. And he was nine time diamond certified. And I was like, what would Adam Petey get? You know, if you got that ninth title. Um, and does it have to be like with a music artist? Can they be nine times? Is that nine times diamond certified for like individual songs or individual and collaborative songs? So what's the analogy there? So it got me thinking. So I was just I, I thought that was like, huh? Yeah. Okay. So there we go. And that's so that's the first contextualization. And then the second contextualization, him being the second Adam, I did an individualized athletic performance contextualization on slash for. Yes, I think a long time ago, like when I was in graduate school, and I was like thinking about it'd be fun to cover stuff, but I don't necessarily want to do like sports, but I don't necessarily want to do footage because it's just, that's that's a mess, but or at least that's not a starting point. Like I guess I could provide my take or perspective on it. I'm just like because I would need to figure that out because that's not something I really do. <laughs> and so now that I'm coming to it, um, Adam P was a big deal back then, uh, and somebody who was brought up in social conversations in part because I was a breaststroker, and so there was a bit of. Uh, I thought, well, if I did actually ever come to act on making some sort of video where I provide my take or perspective on a race result, I would hope, um, because sometimes people have such star power um, or are so prolific, it would be good, if at all possible, and if at all I remember, to not make the superstar the first person in the namespace. If that makes any sense. So it was, um, and so the Adam I covered before Adam Petey is um, Adam Nagy of Hungarian, the Hungarian national football team, and a goal he scored at a Hungary Montenegro home match for Hungary in the 2023 European Qualifiers um, tournament. Uh, so I have put out a video on that before, and it's, I, I will specify here, it, including different spellings of the name Adam, because Adam Nagy has accents over both A's. So if we wanted to be like Adam without accent marks, then Adam PD is the first of that, but not that first Adam in the broader namespace with variations of the spelling. So I kind of did it like part way, right? So depending on how one counts the first he is, or the first or the second. Um, so I am proud of myself for actually getting that right down, kind of like that. Um, 
right? That wasn't necess that was like part of conceptualization years ago, but not necessarily in the making of like these individual videos. And it just sometimes that planning years ago comes out in chronology, like I had hoped they would. Um, even if it's not at like at the time of execution, the like I'm doing this so that Adam PD can be put in later, right? After this, that wasn't how that worked. It was just like it'd be a wise decision so that the channel doesn't become all Adam PD to do a different Adam first, you know, kind of thing. So I got in that sense that part of my video contextual or not contextual conceptualization. Um, I I actually did pretty well. So that is my take on the Adam PD 100 meter breaststroke time of 59.10 seconds from 12 February 2024.